Hello everyone, today I'm playing Star Mazer DSP, published by Pixel Jam and developed by Amagos Software. So anyway, yeah, this is a shmup, a shoot 'em up, uh, with roguelike elements. It's a pretty fantastic game. I just want to mention that, uh, full disclosure, I did get a, uh, I did get free access to this game so that I could beta test it. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to beta test it much or play it much just because I've been busy with other things. Uh, you know, video coming up on what I've been doing recently, but uh, anyway, let's go ahead and hop into Act 1. This game is and currently in early access, so there's not a whole lot of content out right now. Uh, but I think there is enough uh, variety in the game to justify its price tag. I think the game's about $9, and uh, it's totally worth that, in my opinion. So anyway, yeah, here you have the game here. Uh, you know, it looks like a basic shmup so far. Uh, the pixel art in this game is actually pretty damn good. You know, I don't know if I've said this before, but I think that pixel art's a bit overused in games. But in this case, I think it uh, looks really, really good. Um, and the music as well is, is fantastic. Yeah, so my admiral was a cat, so you'll constantly hear cat puns from him. And uh, the characters, the pilots themselves, also make tons of pop culture references. So here you go, you know, it's a shmup. Uh, it's plays like you think is bullet hell. Ugh. So, you, you know, really hard to avoid uh, bullets. And they're just all over the damn place. Uh, so yeah, one interesting thing about this game is that the, uh, the sort of keep it... For variety, to keep the variety high. Uh, the enemy, the enemy flight patterns are actually somewhat procedurally generated. Uh, so when enemies come in, they sort of uh, have different patterns uh, each time you play, which is pretty interesting. Can't get that one. Yeah. So you have the whenever you kill an enemy, these like little carbonites come out. That's what the game calls them. They're like the little gems that you see flying around. Uh, one interesting mechanic this game has is you can actually avoid grabbing the carbonite and uh, let it gain, let it merge with other ones, uh, so that way you'll you get a much more, a bigger boost to your weapon. And that's what the Carbonite does, you pick it up and it level, basically levels up your weapon, which is uh, pretty interesting, like right there. The, the little bar is in the bottom left there. Uh, whoa. That's how you tell what uh, level your gun, your weapon is at. You also you could also use part of that uh, meter to use your alt or your special. I mean, we've never seen anything like this before. Yeah, once you level up your weapon to the third stage and you shoot, it actually drains from that from the third stage of its power up. So that's pretty interesting. It actually forces you not to basically fire like crazy and, and make you more uh, force you to be more precise with your shots, which is pretty interesting. Oh, and I got hit. Yeah, I'm hey, not uh, very good at playing schmucks. Uh, so yeah, another interesting thing about this game is how the way it deals with lives, uh, which is what I'm about which I'm gonna get into pretty soon. Whoa. Yeah, so having to avoid actually. Having to avoid power-ups is a pretty interesting uh, mechanic to include. So here, just sort of avoid all these and let I them all rolled, merge I together. Be there, and then you just pick them all up. So it's a pretty interesting mechanic, you know. Adds a little bit of a uh, challenge to the game. Whoa. Yeah, so I'm actually gonna take a dive in a second here, so I could show you guys. Yeah, when you act, when your character is actually about to die, they sort of kamikaze, so, so wipe out some of the enemies for you. It's pretty interesting. Of course, after you lose, you get these statistics and stuff. So then here's where the rule like elements come in. Uh, once you lose all your pilots, you're forced to start uh, restart the act all over. Uh, but you see the points I've gained here. I have about 82,000 points, and you actually use these points to buy new pow uh, pilots, which count as your lives. So, for instance, you have three different tiers here. You have the dog pack, hyena, and wolf pack. These are just like, you know, there's better ships behind each of these packs. So I think I'm just going to get the hyena pack for now, because I didn't get that many uh, points. So yeah, you just go ahead and you look at the, uh, the pilots, and you have... These pilots are, of course, procedurally generated, so they're not the same every time. Uh, and you have, you know, all kinds of, uh, like, stats on the left, uh, like the chances to survive a hit, speed of the ship, carbonite attraction, and on the right you have their weapons and, you know, their meter buff and what their super is. And of course you can buy, you can actually buy quite a few, um, quite a few, uh, 
squad members, and like I said, these count as your lives. So right now I have about three lives. So we're gonna go ahead and hit start and just hop right in. Hop back, hop, hop back into the game. So that's where the rube-like elements come in. Is in the procedurally generated areas and the fact that you have to start back at Act 1 when you lose all your uh, squad members. So yeah, you know, fans of um, that sort of arcade difficulty uh, that seems pretty, that seems gone in a lot of modern games today uh, will definitely enjoy this game. It's definitely got that arcade style difficulty. Whoa. Yeah, I really enjoy the music of this game. It's pretty good. Also, if you look at the background, it actually, the background actually changes uh, in this stage at least. Like if you lose and then you uh, play it a second time, it'll be dark instead of uh, daytime, which is an interesting little thing. Uh, another interesting little thing I've noticed is that if you go into the let me destroy the ships here, whoa! If I go into the top left here or even the middle part, you'll see that the uh, little overlay bars sort of fade out, so that way you can actually see your ship. That's a nice small little uh, design thing, which is really clever. So that way, if you're all the way up here, you can still see your ship. It's an interesting little. Uh, Thing that I just think is really awesome. Really oh, I thing to do. I'm not a big fan of that special, the uh, balls. Yeah, they're not that great in my opinion. So yeah, this is Star Mazer DSP. Uh, if you're a fan of shmup games, it's definitely worth checking out. It's very fun. Oh, uh, whoa. Very fun and interesting game. It's definitely, uh, like, you know, like many shmup, like the, the smuff genre in general, just, is just really... Uh, filled with satisfying games, and uh, this game is super replayable. Especially when you take into account all the procedurally generated stuff, like the different uh, types of crew members you can get, or squads uh, members you can get, We've never seen anything like this before, and each of their different uh, attributes, like how they, sh like uh, what weapons they have and specials they have. It really mixes up the gameplay, uh, and also the uh, somewhat uh, random. Enemy patterns. I actually really like this. Oh, I was about to say I really like this uh, squad member, but looks like I lost him, and then I lost this one immediately. Yeah, I'm terrible at these sort of games. I am playing this game with the scene controller, and it actually works pretty well with it. I prefer to play this game with a controller. I think uh, shmups tend to play better with controllers. I played this game with a keyboard earlier, and uh, it just doesn't. I don't think the keyboard. Uh, something about the movement just doesn't isn't precise enough for this sort of game, in my opinion. Although it can be done, you know, it's not impossible. I just think that playing with a controller is the preferred way with this game. Yeah, this, that's uh, Star Mazer DSP. Uh, check it out. It's a very fantastic and enjoyable game. If you're a fan of shmup games, I definitely would recommend giving it a shot. It's still in early access, so they're going to be adding tons of new content to it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this has been Star Mazer DSP by Pixel Jam and Amago Software. Take it easy, guys.